Yep, this is what the boy has done to his bed lately. And I am tired of looking at this. In the corner of my dining room. So Pollux has a brand new bed coming today. Pollux, is this gonna be a big, exciting day today? You got something special coming? Sorry for the hairdo, y'all. It's a little early morning. Pollux's bed has made it two and a half years without him tearing it up, surprisingly, because you all know he tears up everything, but he has never torn up his bed until about four months ago. One day, he just got super excited and jumped in it and ripped a hole, and it has just gone since then, and I'm so tired of looking at it because it's normally right here in the corner of our dining room. This is where he loves it. If I put it anywhere else, he will not lay in it, but I'm tired of picking up stuffing, picking up little pieces of bed that he's pulled out, and it just makes my dining room look horrible. So, I've ordered Pollux a new bed, but the thing is, I didn't get a round bed like this one. The beds that I get on my dogs are a certain brand. It's called Best Friends by Sherry. They're great quality. The zipper comes off. You can wash the outside and the inside stuffing stays intact. And when I went on Amazon to order a new bed, apparently Best Friends by Sherry has come out with a new shape. It's like a rectangular shape with a little cutout in the front so they can get in. You'll see, you'll see. And I just thought I would try a new shape for Pollux and maybe he wouldn't get in it and pull on it because when Pollux lays in this round bed, he sinks down in it and you can only see his head sticking out. And Randy says it looks like he's in a boat. Which, which he really does. It's so funny. But we're going to try this new square shape. And we're waiting on the delivery guy. They should be here today. And then we're going to get out Pollux's new bed and see how he loves it. Are you enjoying laying in the sunshine, bud? Got a good sunny spot. We came back from our walk. And Amazon had been here. I think that's Pollux's bed right in there. Guys, we've been on a walk. We just came back. We're, we're going in the house. Get on in here. Our poor mail delivery lady, USPS, we love her to death. And she's always bringing packages to the porch. What is all that? Are you expecting a treat, Millie? Okay. Oh, golly. When I came home, I had run out to the grocery store, and when I came home, Pollux was in his bed, the brown one, the one that's torn up, in the dining room. He had apparently pulled it all the way across the dining room. It was out in the middle of the hall, and he was just sitting in it, sitting in his boat. It's time for that bed to go. So I've got Pollux, a brand new bed. He doesn't seem very peppy right now. Boo, let's see your bed. Oh my gosh, he wants a belly rub instead. All right, boo, let's see. Oh, Maxie's got to get involved. Maxie, I hate to tell you, buddy, but it's nothing for you. I'm sorry. Your bed is still good. Maxie sleeps in his bed every single night. He gets wrapped up in a burrito. You all know this. And he just sleeps in there every night. And because it's gotten a little cool outside, after we get up in the morning and Maxie's had breakfast, he goes back and gets in his bed while Randy's in the shower and he gets all snuggled up and he'll sleep in there until uh, Randy until Randy leaves for work. Man, everybody's stretching. Can y'all move your noses? Oh, look here. That would be UPS. Hold please. Well, unfortunately, it looks like I ordered the wrong color. And it's my bad. I just checked my Amazon account. This bed comes in two colors, frost and taupe. And apparently I was clicked on frost when I ordered it and I meant to get the taupe. Pollux, I'm so sorry, buddy. Pollux's original bed was this frost color. 
and you can see it's very white and I do not like this color. So this has got to go back and we're going to have to reorder it and we will continue this video when the correct color gets here. I'm so sorry, boo. I'm not doing it right now. Mom will get on there right now and order the right thing. Oh, I feel so horrible. I've been telling him for days that this was showing up today and all morning we've talked about it. I'm sorry, Pollux. Mama made a mistake. All right, let me get on Amazon, see how quickly I can order the other one and this one's gonna have to go back. Mm. Well, now I feel really, really bad, but here's the dilemma. You all saw Pollux try to get up a minute ago. He has a hard, he's having a hard time with his back left hip. We're going to the vet to have that looked at. But when I was ordering Pollux's new bed, Best Friends by Sherry has come out with a new kind of bed that has a memory foam center in it. And that was the one that I wanted because the memory foam for his hip, which is hurting him. Hey, can you do? Yeah, I turned the camera on them and they stopped. I didn't love the colors that the memory foam came in. They have a a luxe type of fabric on them, not the shag fabric of the other dog beds. Hey, you do! Now that I have this one in my hand, I'm not even gonna open it. I've returned it to Amazon. Hello! And I'm gonna get the memory foam bed. It's the same size and shape. I chose what was the best color. We'll see when it gets here. Are you really, guys? Pollux, which hip is hurting you? Which, which is this hip? This hip is a hurting, he says. I know you can't tell by looking at him that his hip is hurting, but I think his hip is hurting. He's having a hard time like getting up off the floor and he's kind of holding that leg up a little bit. And it could be his ankle or his leg. I'm just saying hip because I really don't know what it is, but it's been going on for a couple months. It's kind of gotten worse lately. But he was outside doing zoomies in the wheat the other day, and I heard him. Ow! Oh, hey, hey, hey. Uh-oh, did it get a little too rough? Hold on just a sec. Playing got too rough. Okay, he didn't mean to move. He didn't mean to. Oh, my goodness. But I heard him yelp when he was doing his zoomies, and I really do think it's his hip. So, we're going to go to the vet. We're going to get his hip looked at. Hopefully, it's nothing but I'm gonna return the bed. I'm gonna get the one with the memory foam and the fur. We'll see what it looks like and we'll continue this video when it gets here. It'll be here in a couple days. It will, it'll be here in a couple days, it said. It will, it will. I'm sorry, folks, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, all right, get that thing out of my face. Okay, see you soon. So Pollux's new bed finally arrived late yesterday, but I was getting ready to go live on YouTube. And so I didn't have time to get the bed opened. And then this morning when I planned to open the bed and film it for you all, it has been pouring down rain all day long. Pollux is scared to death. Maxie is scared to death. So I haven't been able to do this video, but finally the sun has come out. The boys have simmered down. My husband should be home in about a half an hour. So I thought it was a good time to set my tripod up in the living room and open Pollux's new bed. This is one huge box. Boys, check it out. What do you think? One little update. You all know that I returned the other bed because it was the wrong color. I decided to get Pollux the bed with a memory foam center instead of just fluff. I think it's gonna be better for his hip. I told you all he's having a little bit of problem with his hip. We're going to the vet next week. So I think the memory foam will feel better for him and it won't be so light, I think. So he won't be able to pick it up and toss it around and drag it around the house, which is how he ended up tearing up his first bed in the first place. So let's see what we got. Let's open it up. Oh, I knew Maxie wouldn't like that sound. Um, let's see. We gotta dump it out, bud. So the 
bed came shrink wrapped and there's a big sticker on here. Maxie, can you smell it? Okay. There's a big sticker that says, please remove bed from bag and shake before putting on shelf. On shelf? I don't know what that means, but I think it means shake the bed really good. Because I got the memory foam mattress on this bed, the options, the fur options were different. This one is called Lux Fur, where Pollux's original round bed is like a shag fur. And so maybe he won't be so enticed to uh, put his face in it and chew on it. Well, let's open her up. Pollux! Pollux, come here! Come here, see! Let's open this up and see. See if we, uh, Wait a minute, y'all gonna get your nose cut. Watch out! Come here! Come here, Pollux! What is it? <gasps> he has wet feet. He was outside. <laughs> Brand new bed, wet. Oh, Pollux, does that mean you love it? Is that your new bed, buddy? Mooey, don't chew on the tag. Maxer. Pollux, do you love it, buddy? Uh, now my, no, uh, no, no, no tearing up your bed. Maxer, can you move your booty? Maxie, Maxie thinks it's for him. Pollux, hey. Don't worry about the tag. Maxie, how am I supposed to see anything if you are do, do, do not do that. So this is the Lux Fur. It's very soft and silky. And this bed has a memory foam center and it is cut out right here in the front, which is kind of pointless in my opinion because he can just step over the side. Now he's gonna play with his elephant, but it is a good looking bed. There is a zipper down the middle underneath so that you can remove the memory foam center and then there's also zippers around the edge so you can take out the stuffing on this part too and just simply wash the cover. So the instructions inside say to quickly get your bed into shape from being in the vacuum bag, remove the bed from the bag, shake it out completely, and then place the bed in the dryer on low heat setting for five minutes. I guess that'll fluff it and kind of bring it back to life because it was vacuum sealed. Remove the cover to wash. Make sure to dry thoroughly. Do not air dry, which is true. Our other beds, you want to make sure they're 100% dry or they will get matted. So let's get this bed shaken out and in the dryer. So while the new bed's in the dryer, Pollux brought his elephant over here to the old bed and he's just hanging out in it. Yeah, we see ya. We see ya. Pollux, you wanna get in your new bed? You wanna get in it, buddy? It's basically the size of his other bed, just a different shape. Oh, well, Maxie's gonna check it out. It's warm, Mooey. You can tell the material is a little bit different. It's softer and shorter compared to the other shag bed. Well, I'm just gonna leave it there. I think he's preoccupied with that elephant. We'll see what he does with it later. Does that mean you like it, Pollux? Yeah. You love it, bud? 
There's no biting on it. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Oh, you're licking it and rubbing your face on it. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? You normally don't lick things, buddy. Can we get this bed out of the corner? It's seen better days and move this one in the corner. You want to do it? Mama will drag this bed. Let's put it over here for a second. <laughs> we'll put it there. And should we put your new bed in the corner? What do you think, bud? That's a happy face. It sure is a happy face. Can you wag your tail? Wag your tail, Pogs. Wag your tail. Waggy, waggy, waggy. <laughs> Pollock's got a new bed. Didn't ya? I see your tail wagging. Pollock's got a new bed. You pull it. So we pull it. Pull it to the corner. <laughs> You're moving. You are on the move. I like it. It's soft, 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 Pollux. Just like you. Just like you. You're so soft. All right. Well, I'll just let you lay in it like that, bud. Oh, the Max, are he going to come see? Oh, snaps. Oh, no. Really? Oh! Mooey, are you trying to chew his ear off? Uh, oh, don't hit your head, bud. Okay, now both dogs are in the bed. <laughs> Guys, Maxer, Maxer, you're chewing on him. Break it up, break it up, break it up. Well, I think the new bed is a hit. What I'm gonna do is keep the new bed and the old bed. I don't know where I'm gonna put either of them. I hate to just throw one out, even though the one is full of holes. I don't wanna just shock Pollux with getting rid of his favorite bed. So I think I might drag his old bed with the holes in the living room because normally he doesn't like his bed in the living room. And I'm gonna leave the new one right here in his favorite corner so he can get acclimated. And we'll just see how this transition goes. But I love the new bed. It is so, so soft. And I don't think it'll get matted up near as easily as his other shag bed. Plus, I'm liking the rectangle shape. I think it'll be good for Pollux. He normally lays kind of stretched out anyway when he sleeps. So this should be a really good shape for him. And by the way, y'all, this is not a sponsored video. I just happen to love the beds by Best Friends by Sherry. I think they are the highest quality dog beds on the market. We're able to get several years out of all of our beds. Right, Pollux? You can see the quality of the fur on this new bed. This is called Lux Fur. This is Maxie's bed that he sleeps in every night. And you can see the difference in the fur. This is the regular shag. He's had this bed for about three years now. And you can tell it is starting to get just a little bit matted. Oh, show him, Moo. Get in your bed. But Maxie has not torn up his bed at all. And we wash it all the time. Right, Mooey? And you're a dirty, stinky little dog. Y'all know Maxie is rolls in the yard every single day. He's dirty and stinky, so I do have to wash his bed a lot. And his bed has lasted about three years, but it is starting to get a little matted. You can't expect a dog bed to last years and years and years. Maxie sleeps in his bed every single night. So to say we got three years out of a dog bed, in my opinion, is that's pretty good. That's pretty good quality. 
So, if it turns out that Maxi ends up getting in Pollux's new bed, I may get Maxi a new bed made out of the Lux fur because I'm really liking that Lux fur option. I will put links in the description box below this video to all of the beds by Best Friends by Sherry. They're on Amazon. And just for reference purposes, Maxi's bed is a medium. Pollock sleeps in a large. His round bed and the new rectangle bed are both large sizes. So I'll put links for you below if you'd like to get one for your dog. Mooers, look here. <laughs> Maxie's bed is a medium. It's perfect for the movie. Pollux, you're too big for that bed. How is it, Pollux? Are you enjoying it? For sure, the gray looks way better than our, what color was ours or cover? Gray or blue? I think I said blue. Good morning, Bubba. Maxer, did you sleep so, so good last night? I needed to add to this video this morning because last night when we went to bed, I always put my phone, it charges in the utility room. I never have it with me. So we went in the bedroom. You all know Maxie sleeps in his little donut bed and I decided to pull Pollux's new bed into the bedroom to see if he would get in it and sleep in it instead of going underneath our bed. So I'm in there and washing my face and brushing my teeth and we're getting ready for bed. And Maxie got in Pollux's bed and got all comfy and would not get out of Pollux's bed. <laughs> Did you, Mooey? You stayed in there all night long. <laughs> so we covered him up with his blanket and he did not move. Like, didn't move a single muscle because this morning when I got up, he was in the exact same position, still underneath his little blanket. Weren't you, Moo Moo? So I started feeling around on Pollux's bed because... You know, I got memory foam for Pollux, and then I was comparing it to Maxie's little bed, which is three years old, and there was really a pretty significant difference in the memory foam and the original stuffing, but granted, Maxie's is old. It's been smooshed and worn down, but I felt that Maxie needed a new bed of his own because he's an old guy, so I came right in here to Amazon and ordered Maxie a new bed. It's exactly like Pollux's, same color, memory foam, and it has the Lux fur. The Lux fur is really silky feeling compared to the shag fur, and I figured, why not? The little Mooey deserves a new bed, right, Moo? You wanted a new, can you see? Can you look up here? Right, Moo, Moo wanted a new bed. He said he loved it. So Maxie's new bed will be here next week, so I'll have to share that with you. Right, Pollux? We'll share it. <laughs> After everybody got up this morning, I pulled Pollux's bed into the dining room, which is where he wants it, and he's been cuddled up in it pretty much all morning long, so I think he likes his bed, too. Can y'all just say bye, please? Just say bye. So, all I want you to do is say bye. They say bye. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>